Hello, teacher. Yes, Tony, can you hear me? Yes. All right, so how are you, Tony? I'm very good, thank you, Angel. I'm doing good, thanks for asking as well. All right, so uh, sorry if you were not being advised that I was not around last Sunday because it was actually my parents' 25th anniversary. So it's a yeah. very special celebration in the family. I sent the message Friday night. <laughs> I think the, your yeah. mother was not able to read the message. Mm -hmm. So nevertheless, um, you sent your assignment as well. So we're going to correct that. And after that, we're going to have your second test, regular test with me. Okay, Tony? Really? Really? Yeah. Really? Yes, why? Are you not, are you scared? I just have a test at home this morning. Oh, you just had a test? Really? Yeah. Don't worry, um, yeah. that, that's, that's the test that you're taking in Pantado is not, does not have grade. <laughs> I mean, it will not affect your school grades, but it's our way to check how much you have learned so far. Okay, Tony? Yeah. All right. So do you have the copy of your assignment in Zalo? The one that you sent in Zalo? I sent it in Zalo. Yeah. Do you have a copy? No. No. Yes. I write, I write in the phone, no write the book. No, oh, you're writing the phone. I see. So let me share the screen to you for the Zalo message. Just a second. Okay. Okay, can you see the screen, Tony? Yeah. Okay, this is your assignment. Okay. It was okay. a fantastic last week. So I think there's something wrong already. It's not a fantastic no, I I saw that party. It was a fantastic party last week. I have. I think that I have right. Is part, have party. Only there should be party, right? It was a fantastic yeah. party last week. Okay. So can you read your uh your essay, Tony? Yeah. Read it. It was a fantastic party last week. In the morning, I woke up and ate the breakfast my mother prepared. Next, I studied the lesson on Zoom and done all the homework. Then I asked my parents to have 5 million thousand VND to bounce the, the, all of the things I need for the party because my parents need to went out all day. Mm -hmm. First, I bought balloons, candies, and fruit. Then I went home and decorated the house. Mm -hmm. At the afternoon, I invited my friends to come to my party at 6 p.m. After that, my friends came to my party. We danced, played games, and ate fruit. At 7 p.m., I and my friends came to the cinema to watch the film named King Kong vs. Godzilla. When we finished watching Godzilla, when we finished watching, we arrived to our home. We were having lots of fun, and I think that it was the best party all year. Oh, yeah. Okay, Tony, let's try to check uh, on your sentences. Okay, it was, it was a fantastic party last week. Okay, that's nothing wrong. In that sentence, in the morning, I woke up and ate breakfast, the breakfast my mother prepared. Okay, this is good. Good job. Next, I studied the lessons on Zoom, or we can say via Zoom. You can use that, or through Zoom. Okay, and done. And 
if you want to say and done, have done, okay? Or you can finish and finished. You can use the word finished, all right? And finish all the homework. If you have all, then you have to put S. So meaning it's many, right? Then I asked my parent to have or to give me five, no S, uh, five million, five million thousands. I don't understand that. Yeah. Um, can you, you how do you write that? Like this, how okay. many zero? Like um, this? Six. This six. one, five six million. Yeah. Vietnam is not. Okay. Okay, instead of writing it this way, Tony, you can just write it yes. like this, okay? Like this? Yeah. Okay, uh, because of, if you want to put another zero, you say 50 million, right? If you want to put another zero, it's 500 million. Okay, Tony? Tony? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. To bought. You don't say to bought, but you say to buy all of the things that I need for the party. Since my parents, since my parents will be out, would be out all day. All day. Okay, the first thing I bought, okay, so you can say that. The first thing I bought, I mean, after asking the money, you went out immediately? I mean, yeah. after asking for the money, did you go out immediately? So you can see after that, yeah. I went out to buy the stuff I needed. First. Yeah. Okay, so you can put here first. I bought the balloons. Okay, you don't have to say first. Maybe say I bought balloons, candies, and only one fruit. So we put S. Okay, and fruits. Then I went home and decorated the house. Okay, you don't say at the afternoon, you say in the afternoon, I invited my friends to come to came. You don't say to came, you say to come to my party at 6 p.m. After that, okay, you don't say after that. Which they did. Okay, which they did. Okay. So my friends came to my party and we danced, played games, and ate. Why only one fruit? <laughs> did, did, you, did you share in one fruit, Tony? Hello, Tony, can you hear me? Yes. Did you share one fruit? For example, only one apple? Did you just eat one apple in the party? No. So you put no. S, right? Oh. Now this is correct use. Um, you say at 7 p.m., I and my friends went instead of came went to the cinema to watch the film you don't say name to watch the film king kong versus godzilla after watching okay after, when we finish watching so it's very long so it said after watching oh 
Okay, we went back to our house, okay? We were having lots of fun, and I think that it was the best party of the year, not all day. All year, meaning if you say all year, meaning you are having party every day, okay? And you say all year, Tony, you are having party today, then tomorrow, then the other day. Do you understand? Tony? Yes. So you don't say all day, all right? Is there anything yeah. that you don't understand there? Is it clear? Tony? Yes. So you don't have to put think. I think it was the best party. Yes. Okay, good. Can you read again the, the paragraph, the essay? Mm. From where? From the beginning. <laughs> oh. It was a fantastic party last week. Tony reads slowly once again. Oh, okay. It was a fantastic party last week in the morning. I woke up and ate the breakfast my mother prepared. Next, mm -hmm. I studied the lesson via Zoom and finished all via the homework. Via Zoom and finished all the homework. So via Zoom and via, via, via Zoom. Via. Okay. Via Zoom. Not Zoom. Not Zoom. 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 Yes. Okay. I finished all the homeworks. Then I asked my parents to give me 5,000. That's not 5,000. How did you read that? 5 million. 5 million. 5 million. VND to buy all the things. You don't say VND, you say I, Vietnamese dong. Vietnamese dong. To buy all the things that I need for the party scene. Seeing my parents would be out all day. Would be out all day. After that, I went out to buy the stuff I needed. I bought balloons, candies, and fruits. Then I went home and decorated the house. In the afternoon, I invited my friends to come to my party at 6 p.m., which they did. My friends came to my party and we danced, played games, and ate fruits. At 7 p.m., I and my friend went to the cinema to watch the film, the film Kingdom vs. Godzilla. Versus, After, not vs. Versus. Versus Godzilla. After watching, we went back to our home. We were having lots of fun. I think it was the best party of the year. Okay, good job, Tony. So try to remember how we corrected it, okay? Any question? No. Okay, good. So I'm going to send a message um, to Inzalo for the correction, okay? Okay. So that you can see it as well. All right, now, Tony, are you ready for our test? Yeah, no. No? <laughs> you're not yet ready? Yeah. Okay, whether you're ready or not, we have to start, okay? So I'm going to get the material so that we can start answering now, okay? So okay. Uh, why is your camera all closed, Tony? Okay, good. So I can see you. All right. So let's start. Yeah. I'm going to share my screen one more time. <sighs> So as what you know, they're going to have three parts, okay? So we're going to have listening, then reading and writing, then speaking, 
All right, Tony? Yeah. Okay. So it's time to start. So let me let us go now. Let's proceed. Okay. Okay. Let's start with listening. Okay, there are seven questions in this part. For each question, there are three pictures for a short recording. Choose the correct picture and put a tick in the box below it. Okay. Can I close the video? Can I take off the video? Sorry, sorry, the sound is not, oh, I thought uh, the sound is shared. Let's start over again, Tony. Oh, teacher, can Good I morning. take off my video? A close, why? Because I have to do something. Uh, okay, okay, sure. Okay, let's start. Okay, thank you. What time will the flight to Brussels leave? Dad, we've just had an email from the airline. Oh? Yeah, the time's changed for our flight to Brussels. It's something to do with the new timetable or something. There's only a few minutes difference. We were flying out at 11.57 p.m., but now it's five past midnight. And the return flight the following Tuesday is now at two minutes past midnight. That's a full two hours later than it was. So we might need to change our booking at the airport car park. Okay. Now listen again. Dad, we've just had an email from the airline. Oh? Yeah, the time's changed for our flight to Brussels. It's something to do with the new timetable or something. There's only a few minutes difference. We were flying out at 11.57 p.m., but now it's five past midnight. And the return flight the following Tuesday is now at two minutes past midnight. That's a full two hours later than it was. So we might need to change our booking at the airport car park. Okay. Two. What does the man enjoy most about flying? Do you enjoy flying? It's not my favourite thing to do. I get a bit nervous sometimes, usually when I'm just getting on board and finding my seat. It's thinking about taking off. I'm not frightened exactly, but I do feel a bit strange, and I'm not keen on that. Landing's the most exciting bit. I think it's because there's usually a new place to explore. When I'm up in the air during the flight, I just find it a bit dull. Now listen again. Do you enjoy flying? It's not my favourite thing to do. I get a bit nervous sometimes, usually when I'm just getting on board and finding my seat. It's thinking about taking off. I'm not frightened exactly, but I do feel a bit strange, and I'm not keen on that. Landing's the most exciting bit. I think it's because there's usually a new place to explore. When I'm up in the air during the flight, I just find it a bit dull. All right, Tony? Yeah. Okay, what's your answer for number one? Uh, is let us see. Okay, number two? Is letter B. Okay, thank you. You continue. One. Three. Where will Maggie's family stay on holiday this year? 
Are you taking the family to Italy again on holiday this year, Maggie? Yeah, we were thinking about going back to the same cottage we rented last summer, but it's already booked on the dates we wanted to go. Unfortunately, the kids really want to go camping. There's a fantastic site in the same area with a pool and everything, but it's not really my thing. So we've reserved a family room at the hotel next door instead. There's a pool there too, and it'll be much more comfortable. So it's the perfect solution. Now listen again. Are you taking the family to Italy again on holiday this year, Maggie? Yeah, we were thinking about going back to the same cottage we rented last summer, but it's already booked on the dates we wanted to go. Unfortunately, the kids really want to go camping. There's a fantastic site in the same area with a pool and everything, but it's not really my thing. So we've reserved a family room at the hotel next door instead. There's a pool there too, and it'll be much more comfortable. So it's the perfect solution. Four. What has the woman left behind? Oh no! I knew I'd leave something behind. Don't tell me you haven't got our passports. There isn't enough time for us to go home and come back again. No, they're here in my handbag. And we checked in online before we left, so there are no tickets to worry about. It's the guidebooks. I was planning to bring a couple so I could do some reading on the journey. I'm pretty sure I didn't pack them, so they're probably still sitting on my desk. Now listen again. Oh no! I knew I'd leave something behind. Don't tell me you haven't got our passports. There isn't enough time for us to go home and come back again. No, they're here in my handbag, and we checked in online before we left, so there are no tickets to worry about. It's the guidebooks. I was planning to bring a couple so I could do some reading on the journey. I'm pretty sure I didn't pack them, so they're probably still sitting on my desk. Tony, it's time yes. for you to share your answer for number three and four. Number three is letter B. Okay, number four. Letter A. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we go for five, six, seven. So listen carefully, Tony. Yeah. Five. What will the weather be like when the plane arrives? Good morning, everyone. This is your captain speaking. We're currently flying at around ten thousand meters and traveling at six hundred and fifty kilometers per hour. There's hardly any cloud around, and the air is nice and calm. So the rest of the flight should be smooth and much better than the rather windy day we left behind in London. There's a little light rain in Madrid at the moment, but you'll be pleased to know that it should be clear by the time we arrive in about an hour. Now listen again. Good morning, everyone. This is your captain speaking. We're currently flying at around ten thousand meters and traveling at six hundred and fifty kilometers per hour. There's hardly any cloud around, and the air is nice and calm. So the rest of the flight should be smooth and much better than the rather windy day we left behind in London. There's a little light rain in Madrid at the moment, but you'll be pleased to know that it should be clear by the time we arrive in about an hour. Six. What was damaged during the journey? How was your journey? Well, the ferry was delayed, but there's a good shop next to the harbour, so I bought myself a new travel bag. I didn't realise at the time, but it's torn at one end, so I'll have to return it. Fortunately, I haven't put anything in it. Oh dear! How was the sea? It was really windy, so the boat was moving all over the place. The lady next to me spilled coffee over some documents she had, and I dropped my tablet. 
unfortunately, it didn't break. Now, listen again. Hello. How was your journey? Well, the ferry was delayed, but there's a good shop next to the harbour, so I bought myself a new travel bag. I didn't realise at the time, but it's torn at one end, so I'll have to return it. Fortunately, I haven't put anything in it. Oh, dear. How was the sea? It was really windy, so the boat was moving all over the place. The lady next to me spilled coffee over some documents she had, and I dropped my tablet. Fortunately, it didn't break. Seven. Where can you park your car for free? This is an announcement for the person who has left a car outside the main entrance to the building. The number is AC4124. Please return to your car and remove the vehicle immediately as parking is not allowed there. There are spaces available in the car park next to the station building where there is no charge. If there are no spaces left, please park on the road at the front of the station. Please note that there is a fee for parking there. Thank you. Now listen again. This is an announcement for the person who has left a car outside the main entrance to the building. The number is AC4124. Please return to your car and remove the vehicle immediately as parking is not allowed there. There are spaces available in the car park next to the station building where there is no charge. If there are no spaces left, please park on the road at the front of the station. Please note that there is a fee for parking there. Thank you. That is the end of part one. Hello, Tony. Are you finished? Yes. All right. So what's your answer for number five? Letter B. Letter B. Number six? Letter B. Also letter B, Tony? No, letter seven is C. Aha. Uh -huh. Letter seven? Oh, number seven. Okay, again, number five is letter B. Number six is letter B. And number seven is? Seven. Letter C. Letter C. Okay, so thank you. Now we have another, another listening here, Tony. So it's either yes or no. So listen carefully. Okay, we still have time. Okay. Take note. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a boy, Tom, and his sister, Claire, about school. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, Put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part four. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Guess what, Claire? I've been chosen for the school swimming team. What do you think about that? Oh, well, I think it's great, but I'm sure Dad won't say the same when he finds out. You know how he feels about you doing all this sport and not doing your schoolwork? You'll never get all your homework done, especially if you have to travel to other schools for competitions. It won't make any difference. I can do my homework on the bus. Honestly, Tom, you know what your teacher said to Dad last term? You've got a good brain and you could improve your marks at school if you spent a bit less time thinking about sport. Sometimes I wonder if you ever think about anything else at all. Well, I work hard at everything I like doing, not just sport. I mean... Take maths, for example. OK, it's your life. But you know you have your examinations next year for college. 
and at most of the good colleges they have great sports facilities. If you aren't accepted, then you'll have to find a job, and that won't be easy. Oh, I've thought about that already. I'm thinking of applying to do sports science at college, and someone told me some of the colleges often take students with lower marks if they're good at sport. Well, I wouldn't depend on what one of your friends says if I were you. For your information, it wasn't one of my friends. It was a teacher at school. I'm only trying to help, and anyway, it doesn't really matter what I say. It's Dad you have to worry about. Yes, okay. I know you're right about that. I'll have a chat with him tonight and explain things again. Good luck. Now listen again. Guess what, Claire? I've been chosen for the school swimming team. What do you think about that? Oh, well, I think it's great, but I'm sure Dad won't say the same when he finds out. You know how he feels about you doing all this sport and not doing your schoolwork. You never get all your homework done, especially if you have to travel to other schools for competitions. It won't make any difference. I can do my homework on the bus. Honestly, Tom, you know what your teacher said to Dad last term. You've got a good brain, and you could improve your marks at school if you spent a bit less time thinking about sport. Sometimes I wonder if you ever think about anything else at all. Well. I work hard at everything I like doing, not just sport. I mean, take maths for example. Okay, it's your life, but you know you have your examinations next year for college, and at most of the good colleges they have great sports facilities. If you aren't accepted, then you'll have to find a job, and that won't be easy. Oh, I've thought about that already. I'm thinking of applying to do sports science at college. And someone told me some of the colleges often take students with lower marks if they're good at sport. Well, I wouldn't depend on what one of your friends says if I were you. For your information, it wasn't one of my friends. It was a teacher at school. I'm only trying to help, and anyway, it doesn't really matter what I say. It's Dad you have to worry about. Yes, okay. I know you're right about that. I'll have a chat with him tonight and explain things again. Good luck. That is the end of part four. You now have six minutes to check and copy your answers onto the answer sheet. That is the end of the test. Okay, Tony, finish? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, can you tell me your answer for number one? Yes, let's I. Okay. Number two. Letter I. Also A. Number three. Let's B. Okay, number four. B. Number five. B. Number six. I. That uh, A. Okay, good. So, just to be sure, Tony, your answer is A. B. Sorry. Um, number one is A. Number two is A. Number three is B. Four is B. Five is B. Six is A. All right. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, good. Now we're going to reading and writing now, Tony. So look at the yeah. text in each question. What does it say? Mark the correct letter, A, B, or C, on your answer sheet. Okay. okay.
Okay, just tell me your answer, Tony, if you're finished, okay? Okay. Uh, my answer number one is letter A. Okay, letter A. Number two. Number two is letter C. Okay, letter C. Okay, so try to read three and four carefully, okay? Okay. I finished teacher. Okay, what is three? Three is letter B. Okay, and number four is letter B. It's also letter B. All right, and last five. Finish. Okay. That's a letter A. Okay, your answer is letter A. Good. Okay, now let's go to the next part. So for task four, read the text and questions below. For each question, mark the correct letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Okay, so this is a long story, Tony. So try to do yeah. try to read it. Oh, no. Why? No, no.
Tony, you're finished. <laughs> it's already uh, it's already five forty two, so we have three minutes yes. more. Number one is letter D. Okay, D as in dog. Mm -hmm. Two is letter B. A B B B. As in boy. Yeah. Number three. Letter I. Letter A. Okay, continue. Please let me think. Sure, oh, sure, sure. Sure. I'm finished. Okay, so what's your answer for number four? Let us see. Let us see, and that's number five. Let us be. Okay, let us be. All right, so that's the end as for the moment, Tony. We're going to continue the test for speaking. All right, um, next, what's the next meeting? Next Friday. Okay, Tony? Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for coming to class for tonight, Tony, and let us see each other next Friday. So we're going to continue, okay? So thank you, thank you, okay. Tony, and see you next Bye -bye. Friday. Bye-bye.